let's go to Ukraine just for like for a moment. Ukraine is literally like their president, their head of state, and their prime minister, their head of government are both uh, Jewish. And <laughs> there's literally been like talks about like turning Ukraine into a second Israel, like a second <laughs> homeland for the Jews. And and literally like I kind of see like this Ukraine war as like um a culling of the Slavic people for easy settlement. Sadly, I think I agree with that. Let's assume for a second that Israel leaves Hamas in place in the Gaza Strip, which would be the end result of a ceasefire at this point. Hamas would quickly consolidate its support, not only in Gaza, but among Palestinian Arabs in the West Bank, creating another massive terror threat for Israel from its east. That terror threat is already materializing. Palestinian terrorists have already attempted to infiltrate multiple areas of the so-called West Bank, Judea, and Samaria. On Friday night, mosques around Israel played a muezzin call, expressing solidarity with Hamas. Yeah, why, why, why <laughs> do any of us care, Ben? <laughs> and calling for Palestinians to join the violence. That will only grow worse if Hamas survives. Meanwhile, Hezbollah in the north, which is an Iranian proxy, will know that Israel is surrounded on all sides. But Hezbollah sure has a Christian general, you know. <laughs> Like, literally, Hezbollah has, like, a Christian general. They have Christian officers and enlisted in their ranks. Bro, Same I don't know what Hamas. it is about these people. They, like, freak out whenever you mention Hezbollah or Iran. Like, it's just, like, I don't, I really don't get it. Like, you know, Israel is supposedly this great military in the world, right? And it's like, they, they freak out whenever you talk about Hezbollah for five seconds, you know? Well, because Hezbollah, like, if... They want to create a narrative around like who like these groups are like Hamas and Hezbollah, and like they paint like they paint a picture that is only partially true. Like at, for every lie, you need to sprinkle a truth in to make it believable. Like that's what the devil does, <laughs> essentially. And like Hez yes, Hezbollah and Hamas are like majority made up of Muslims, but. If you like dig deeper, like Hamas, they are like fairly um, neutral, and actually, like they will they protect the uh, the Christians within the Gaza Strip from the Jews, and there are Christians in the ranks of Hamas. Then there, well, is I think also, they literally, like, literally protected Christians in Syria from ISIS when we like bankrolled ISIS, you know, under Obama and like Hillary Clinton. <laughs> oh yeah, like literally, um. So like Hezbollah, like they, like I said earlier, they have a general. They have several men in their ranks that are Christian. And then, um, what was it? Assad. Literally, like, why did most of the Syrian Christians side with Assad? Well, because Assad literally protected the Christians, and he's like Assad is. He isn't even a Muslim. He is. He's like, an Alawite. That weird, like, yeah, and Alawites like they're this weird syncretic religion between both Christianity and Islam. So. Yeah, and I think I think Assad's wife is also like she was she's Christian. I think she's an Assyrian Christian. So, yeah, so Assad is the most moral leader, quite frankly, <laughs> in the Mediterranean. <laughs> <laughs> probably he's probably a contender for the most moral leader in the world. <laughs> yeah, honestly honest. though. Choose to launch a massive offensive against Israel that would end with tens of thousands of Jews dead and Oh no. <laughs> Israel itself existentially endangered. Again, that's weird. So you care about oh, no. Israel's existential danger, but you couldn't give a shit about our existential danger right now. And I think we're seeing some dual loyalty, Ben. What would you have to say to that? The possibility is quite real. Israel is apparently holding off right now on its ground offensive in order to retain enough troops in the north to prevent a massive Hezbollah move. If Hezbollah jumps in, Israel will respond with everything in its arsenal as it would have to. Iran, then presumably with Russian and Chinese backing, could enter the conflict. At that point, nuclear conflict would certainly not be off the table. Oh, so boy. literally, like, they're going to knock down my sandcastle, so let's destroy every sandcastle in the entire world. Like, can you imagine the collective, like, arrogance of that? <laughs> the, the, the blatant, um, I don't know, like, what's the term? Is it, like, it's beyond chauvinism. Like, it's to the point of just bloodlust um chauvinistic bloodlust for your own people against another people like you're literally going to use uh tactical nukes which i think israel doesn't really have strategic nukes i think they have tactical nukes i think they have like a hundred over a hundred tactical nukes i believe is the number yeah and so yeah they and that's why they call like the samson option um 
is like their their last resort because they much rather just use um, more effeminate forms of warfare, which is just using guided bombs and <laughs> and uh, aerial munitions and artillery um, to endlessly kill your enemy instead of face them directly. Which that that's a very uh, scummy, effeminate, and Jewish tactic of war. But um, yeah, like literally. So using tactical nukes against Palestinians. So you are saying, uh, Mister the Jew Shapiro, that you just want to glass everything because somebody stubbed their toe, some Jew stubbed their toe. That is essentially the narrative coming out of Israel. Basically, or or yeah, or or they like they slightly like they gave us a paper cut, so we're going to kill you. So we're going to nuke you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna nuke, we're gonna threaten to nuke every country and start like World War Three because America, if America doesn't give us ten billion dollars. <laughs> mm-hmm. We're we're gonna take the Israel whole world with us because we, we'll never allow the Goyim to win over the Jews. But, that, yeah. That's their 